What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Christian, Mr. All the Above ENT himself, alongside of me. I'm um, Jesse, like usual. Uh, you guys know me from Universe Mode, so. And yes, and today we are going to be talking about Survivor Series War Games. Jess and I, for context, we do do a Universe Mode on this channel where we uh, pour our hearts into, like every other day. Mm -hmm. But besides that, we're also avid wrestling fans, and uh, I'm excited to talk about what we just witnessed with Survivor Series War Games. War Games! It's Jess, and I want to kick it off with actually how it ended, because I feel like that's still kind of fresh on our mind. Mm -hmm. And for further context, I can't say like I watch every week, but I'm a, I've been a wrestling fan my whole life, and also, you know, I watch every pay-per-view damn near with you. So... To me, to kick it off with the well, to kick off our conversation with the Bloodline match, featuring obviously Sami Zayn going against the Brawling Brutes, Kevin Owens, Drew McIntyre, they set up a story mm -hmm. during this whole pay per view, and it was through these little like vignettes, and they had those throughout the whole show, and it all led to what this match was. And how did you feel of this match and the story that they told during the whole thing? Um, I would rate it a 10 out of 10. Uh, the main event was the best part of the pay-per-view. Uh, the backstage segments of Roman telling Paul Heyman to call Sami Zayn uh, for him to have a conversation I, I, with I, him. I love Paul Heyman in the background with the yeah. two titles, just like yeah, just, just chilling. Uh, Sami Zayn obviously came backstage to talk to Roman Reigns about what happened on Friday night, Friday night SmackDown where uh, Sami Zayn was speaking to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn told uh, Jey Uso that uh, he didn't talk to anybody, anyone because Jey Uso was the one eavesdropping behind the, mm -hmm. the bloodline lock, locker room door. And then uh, Sami Zayn and Roman squashed it, they hugged and like you kind of saw like the face of like Roman not knowing if like he could really trust uh, Sami Zayn so, prior to the match. I, I, I like that we had all that going into the match. So during the match, we were literally like, okay, well, mm, we're gonna go. what did Roman really think of it? Because yeah, Sami said he lied because he didn't want you know Jay to be in his head about it, what have you. But even like they kicked it off and they had Jay go first. Then Sammy come in second mm -hmm. to help because he, you know, it, it was the disadvantage. And we'll talk about the war games and, and the fact that we're watching this on the main roster. But they built this up the whole way through, and then it led to the to the spots it led to. I don't know mm -hmm. if we want to get there just yet, but oh man, Sammy Zayn is over, bro. Yeah, Sam, Sammy Zayn is <laughs> completely over with obviously the main eventers, uh, the rest of Bloodline. Uh, I'm very glad they're continuing the story, to be honest, because I did have, like, thoughts of uh, them either, you know, screwing Sami Zayn over in some way and it would have costed the Bloodline the match, or we would have saw the other way where Sami Zayn screws uh, the Bloodline, kind of like Kevin Owens said uh, on SmackDown. He was like, uh, you need to, like, watch your back and maybe... Take advantage of that, Bloodline before they and, take advantage of they, you. They plant through that seed, and that probably yeah. would have been like the predictable, guessable route to mm -hmm. go. And I mean, for uh, for some, I mean, what, did you believe that that was going to happen going into it? Because I feel like we were, we were having that conversation whether we thought that the I, I don't know if you would call it a hill turn or whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it, just the turn on the team was going to happen or not. We obviously didn't see that. We see Bloodline arguably stronger than ever. Yeah, but. Did you think it was going to happen? Were you sold? Or did you think it was going to end similar to how it did? Um, to be honest, the, anything can happen in wrestling. I always do say that. Uh, but you always have your, like, oh, this is for sure going to happen. With this, though, like, I really... I feel like we were up in the air. Yeah, it really could have went a few different ways. Uh, like I said, we could have saw Sami Zayn help Kevin Owens win the match. Uh it really could have went multiple different ways. Obviously, the way it happened, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad it did because we saw the spot where Jey Uso uh, super kicked uh, Sami Zayn. It was on accident. Obviously, Pete Dunne ducked. Obviously, for him to not. It was on accident, there. but he also said, "F it, leave him there." And that, then they went on and moved on yeah, to the next. Yeah, that, that's very true. And so obviously, that, that, there was a yeah. few more minutes. And left Roman didn't match. see that part though. Yeah, because he was down and he didn't obviously see Jay. But uh, even earlier in the match, the, Sammy the saves Jimmy, I mean Jay, mm -hmm. um, from the from the one, I forgot what the exact move might have been. It might have been a bro kick. On, no, it wouldn't have been a bro kick that early. But it was something on the cage. Yeah. And he pulled him out the way and he said, hey. Uh, like, I got, I got you. you. And yeah. that, was, that was Sammy's whole thing. What he 
prove his loyalty? Would he show that throughout the match, especially with Kevin Owens being like a kind of thorn in the side on the other mm-hmm. side? And then we get the finish where Jess, well, KO had Roman Reigns beat pretty yeah. much, which Hit is him with the pop and power bomb, stunner. Yeah. And then uh, obviously Sami Zayn was still selling the fact that he got super kicked by Jay. And then, obviously, great camera work by the production of WWE. Which I'm sure gets tricky with the two rings. True. Yeah, we saw Which, Sami Zayn. If, if I could just say, because I feel like this is a point as a viewer, and I think this was an issue with Vince, maybe in War Games, possibly. I think the production on this was fine. Like, I, I, the two rings never bothered me. Mm. And they had all the years to you know test it and produce it over at NXT. Course, yeah. But the two rings, I don't know how it was for the people watching in the building, but at home... In my comfortable couch, I, it was. It looked great, Justin. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, but uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, uh, the spot where obviously Sami Zayn, uh, he doesn't pull Roman Reigns off. He doesn't pull Kevin Owens off. He simply just grabs the ref's hand, and obviously that stops the the pinfall of it going to a three. Kevin Owens realizes like the match isn't over. He looks behind him, and Sami Zayn is just looking at him, and they both stand up. And I believe the one that. Uh, tried to kick Sami Zayn was Jimmy Uso and Kevin Owens caught it still fighting and then we see the low blow yeah, Sammy, from Sami Zayn put Zane. the low blow on Kevin mm. ultimately led to Kevin falling back in the corner he got the nod from Roman and I, I mean even that like Sami Zayn he acting he's acting his ass off right uh, now yeah. the facial expressions the body language and he, he goes hits him with the halluva kick Kevin Owens falls on him mm-hmm. but he lays him out for Jay to ultimately get the pinfall victory and win uh, and, and get Bloodline a big victory. I mean, I, I thought they were going to win regardless. It was yeah, just a matter of how same. they were going to tell it. Or maybe, you know, the Sami Zayn, uh, whatever it would have been would have happened and maybe changed the outcome a little bit, Jess. But ultimately, it looks like Sami Zayn and the Bloodline, whether it was a question if they were going to you know break up sooner or later, at least the Sami Zayn part, Looks like they got some more build to go. They got more of a story to be told. Good, because I saw a tweet on uh, Twitter, and it said, uh, I'm very happy with that match. Uh, they, they were thrilled with, with War Games, obviously the main event. And he, he said, most importantly, like the storytelling in the last five minutes of that match just proves that like Triple H and obviously the whole storyline with Bloodline continues because it's it's the best storytelling in the WWE. I think right that's now. what the War Games match gives you the opportunity to do, and like they replace this over the traditional Survivor Series six mm-hmm. and six. Um, and you know, granted, you can tell stories within that match. I feel like there was way more storytelling able to be told in this way, in this form of fashion, and it was also an exciting way to do it. Only thing with the War Games that I must say is like. It's five minute interval, so mm-hmm. and the match doesn't even start till like They're after all, all that is done. Of course. So, yeah. or me and you, we're kind of just chopping it up. We're talking a little bit. We might you know be on the phone a little more because mm-hmm. you know nothing's really going on. They're kind of filling in. They're speech, building up in toward time. everyone's. That would be my yeah. only like the minor complaint with war games, but I mean that's like that with the elimination chamber. Mm-hmm. It's like that with the rumble. Ultimately, they filled it up with, with good, you know, story beats. And that's what they're able to do within these matches. How they did it with the mm-hmm. with the Sammy and, and Jay. And honestly, this was a a good look that I, I was able to get on like Solo. And I haven't seen too much of Solo myself. I haven't seen Pete Dunne on the main roster too much and now he's Butch and, you know. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, he seems to be enjoying it. So. Yeah. And Screw it. he got another War Games match on the main roster. So, you know, he'd been in a ton in NXT. Mm. And it's crazy to just see all the NXT stars just flourishing to their fullest. And, and we'll talk about the women's match as well. But, Jess, ultimately the main event, any final thoughts on it? Anywhere you think that this could go moving forward? Or? Uh, I still feel like there's a slight uh, chance that Roman... Because they're backstage, before, obviously it was before the War Games match... We saw when they hugged and it looked like Roman really like didn't like trust Sami Zayn. He was like, "Why would you well, lie to I Jay?" I don't know if the, about the, I don't even know if the look was situation. trusting Sami Zayn or not trusting Jay. Well, it could have like in my it, opinion, yeah, I feel like it, it, it could it, it could be taken into two ways, and that true. might be an answer we don't get to find out. I feel like that's kind of the. He, they were leaving you with that cliffhanger so when the match mm. happened like whatever happened I feel like before is kind of in the past because we literally yeah. seen Sami Zayn celebrating with Oos and he was 
we were watching the emotions happen in real time, but mm-hmm. we were seeing him go from like, okay, I'm doing this, like I'm betraying my friend, or how yeah, he yeah. use Kevin Owens, and this is literally my like, I, I, there's no crossing the other side now. Mm-hmm. Um, and we saw that happen in real time. We even saw Jay, you know, embrace Sami Zayn yeah. in a way that we probably haven't seen before. So. Yeah, that, that got a that got a, a huge pop. Obviously, when when Jay and Sami hugged, their like, crowd was like, oh wow, like maybe. Jay finally accepts Sami Zayn now, obviously being in Bloodline. But uh, I'm not going to forget, obviously, Sami Zayn getting um, kicked. You know, they could turn that into an angle of Sami Zayn, like, can never forget what happened during that match. I don't know. Um, I, was, I feel like you could always just watch the replay and be like, yeah, yeah it was, true. It was, it was an accident. He yeah. really ducked out the way. Yeah, there's true. not much you could do to avoid it. But, but yeah, the, the, the other thing was with that look was that look where he was like disappointed with Sami Zayn for lying to Jey Uso yesterday about the Kevin Owens situation or was he like upset at the fact that Jey Uso prior to the match still hasn't accepted Sami because they've been a thing for a few months now and now it looks like after this match like they're all good but like you know how wrestling could go where Mm -hmm. they're at an all-time high right now like that was probably like their you know performance all together where you know they all trust one another plus Sami Zayn uh solo the usos roman and and paul Heyman. but uh you know one one thing after this can can change that where Maybe there's another segment with Kevin Owens uh, about him low blowing him, and Roman's just like, I, mean, I now- thought I told you to stop talking to him, and then boom, we could think of Roman Reigns, uh, I guess, possibly you know plotting against Sami Zayn. I, I don't know. I really do feel like they're gonna build them continually as like a, a union from mm-hmm. now because I feel like if anything, they were building to this. They were building for the moment where yeah. like all that distrust was for this moment right here where okay they're all unified he is bloodline he is that honorary who's officially mm. um it's just i don't know how much longer he's going to be a part of the book so yeah it's just a matter of what well, that's the I, real I, question are they going to do it before mania or is this going to be the mania storyline like I, I don't know and yeah i don't know uh, oh man it's up in the air I, I, I also I also have the same question with kevin owens and, and where does he go because I, f- I feel like after this you know the Sami Zayn. Is it a direct feud with him? Mm. Or is it, you know, I don't know. It's, it's going to be interesting what the next, you know, Raw and SmackDown has and, to and, and Rumble, because that's um, obviously the build toward WrestleMania in April. Can we get a confirmation if that's the next pay-per-view? Yeah, with the next pay-per-view being Rumble, that, I, we had to fact check that. I, I couldn't believe that they got that much of a gap. It's, all, it's January 28th, I believe that date said. Mm-hmm. Does it like, say Philly too? No, it doesn't say Philly, no, right? Where's that? Uh, San Antonio. Okay, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Um, but that's crazy that they're going to have all this build up in the meantime. Um, they, they could tell a lot of stories. Yeah, 100%. They could tell a lot of stories, and I guess that's the next question. Who's going to win that Rumble? And mm-hmm. I mean, we could theorize and be Both on that for, some, for some time. Um, I, I like the idea that you said you saw on the internet. I, I, I don't want to you know not discredit the guy, or credit the guy, I should say. Um, but just the idea that maybe Roman defends um, a title each day, I think that could be a very, very cool concept. So shout mm. out to whoever thought of that idea. Um, but Jess, let's talk about the rest of the show. Um, as far as my thoughts on that War Games match, I mean, I, I, th- I think I've said enough. That mm. I just appreciated the storytelling, the spots itself. We obviously saw the table spots and mm. you know all the other things. And I, and I like the little... The little spots they give to every individual wrestler, and that's kind of all my. I love when everybody gets their moment. Everybody mm-hmm. got their moment. I was cool with it. Always gonna see Sheamus um, in like another stretch of his career. He, he's he's awesome. Um, but Jess, let's kind of go right into um, the match right before this, which was Seth Rollins defending that title in a triple threat against Bobby Lashley and um, Babe, not Babe Blade. I'm sorry, uh, Austin Theory. I was very confused though when he was coming out because they had the Bay Blade sponsorship right behind him, and that's yeah, yeah, it worked. Why? Because they, they won. They got seen. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. Yeah. Austin Theory did end up winning, and um, honestly, he was getting destroyed for most of the match, mm-hmm. and he ended up getting a, a, a little bit of nice moments at the end. He teased some moves, um, and, and, and he definitely had a few spots. Bobby was. Just, yeah, he Bobby, was the almighty, literally. Bobby was cooking. I knew he wasn't going to win. I knew it was either obviously going to be between Theory and uh, Seth. 
Uh, my prediction was Seth was going to retain. Uh, I thought so too. To the, the, the ending sold me because he obviously jumped over Austin Theory and hit the curb stomp on Lashley. The curb stomp was yeah, beautiful. That was Absolutely. A there was also a spot where uh, Lashley had uh, the hurt lock and Theory rolled on top of him and Seth Rollins hit that frog Smash. splash. That was they a also cool had spot. the double hurt lock um, that oh, yeah. lasted a yeah, few cool, seconds. Cool but, you know, spot there. They, they, they made it happen. But, um, yeah, but Seth Rollins, obviously he hit that big curb stomp and then Theory grabbed him and then Seth Rollins grabbed him, threw him over, went for the pinfall, kicked out at like 2.9, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And then Theory got back in the ring. Uh, Seth Rollins hit that, uh, the Phoenix uh, splash combo. Falcon Falcon Arrow, excuse me. um, Where he hits the suplex and then he rolls through and hits another one. And then before he hit the second move, um, to complete the obviously the the whole move, uh, Bobby Lashley hit a horrible. I don't even want to call it a botched spear. It looks like he completely missed him. Uh, yeah, it, happened. it hit Seth Rollins, I guess. Obviously Lashley, I think he rolled out of the ring or was rolling out of the ring. Um, I mean, he was just you know off off off. Yeah, because obviously it was. It, and it theory kind of just landed on Rollins for the pin. Yeah, and uh, kind of a bad ending to that match. The match was honestly good. The the finish was weak. Uh, and Seth yeah, Rollins. I feel like you don't like the outcome. No. Yeah. Seth Rollins just became your United, your United States champion. Uh, he got his blonde hair back. Yeah. He's I, I, over. Like. And he got pinned. And yeah, and he got pinned. It does bother me. Uh, I think yeah. Seth deserves better because Triple H is a Seth Rollins guy. Kind of like wondering I, what could be next for him. Obviously for Rumble and. For the the build it, to WrestleMania, because I would have had the guy been United States champion. It sucks because we literally said until maybe. we said before the match. I said before the match at least that I would like to see him defend that at Mania and yeah. actually get that Mania win. Um, but he lost the title, and I, I really wasn't expecting that. Nevertheless, him get pinned. Yeah. But like I I they did say that Austin Theory was the youngest United States champion mm-hmm. and. But that was when Vince was there. Yeah, and I just and this was I don't I don't mind giving him the rub. I really I neither really do I. Like, it's just like I said this literally as soon as he won. Seth always gets the shit end of the stick. I feel. I was I I said to Christian I was just like see this like kind of like double backs on uh, Triple H's shitty booking of when he had Austin Theory lose the title because Austin Theory the had the United case. States yeah the briefcase excuse me. He had the United States Championship when, when Vince was there. Uh, he lost it to Bobby Lashley. And then, obviously, Austin Theory became Mr. Money in the Bank. He teased it plenty of times with, when Roman Reigns would have main events. And then Vince McMahon obviously leaves at SummerSlam a few months back. And then you have this decision of, do I have Austin Theory go against Roman Reigns and get, obviously, destroyed? Um, or do I have him go against, like, a mid-card guy like a Seth Rollins, who was obviously reliable and would make Austin Theory look good in, in that match regardless, even if he was put over or not. But uh, you have him lose the briefcase, obviously, to develop a new character. But then with a developed character that's obviously still in the works because we don't know what potentially could advance from this because I feel like there's going to be... It's in phase one. Yeah, there's obviously more to his his character because he just lost that, that briefcase that, maybe three weeks ago. That character can't be developed while having that title that truthfully, he had a whole briefcase for what in what mm-hmm. generally you would think would be a world championship shot. Yeah. Instead of that, it's like, all right, you didn't even get to cash in on the United States belt to begin with because he failed. Yeah. Here's at least the belt like after... We did a little bit of development with you. You know, you had that loss, yeah, you had know. the promos, you dropped the character, you changed your gimmick a little bit. I think that it might be able to happen both ways. I just honestly feel bad for Seth, and I feel like that mm-hmm. I don't know really where they're going to take him from here. And yeah, like, like, I, think, like I, I think he'll be fine. I think he'll be fine in Triple H's hands, and he'll yeah, be same. fine for Mania. He'll be fine for Rumble. Maybe it's even Rollins and Roman. I don't even know if I want that. Um, would you want that? Rollins and Reigns. Mania. At Mania? Uh, Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for like night one. I would See, that. But that wouldn't that wouldn't that wouldn't fulfill you for both nights. A main event like that? No. 
I think Roman, there's a bigger I think, I, think, I think Roman defending twice would definitely be a cool idea. And I'm running with somebody else's idea, but it's a great idea, so I like it. Um, it, it all depends what they do at night, too. Yeah, but I guess. That, are, are they officially doing two nights? They are, right? They yeah, yeah. Days, so. They're always going to probably keep that Moving forward. Up. I like yeah. I like it. And that's another credit to the show, because we saw last week's AEW event together as well. What five matches? Mm-hmm. This ended. I felt like quicker, and this, this it had two long thirty-five minute matches at least, mm-hmm. just thrown in there automatically. Yeah, and the, it just felt like a way smoother show than AEW was. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna lie to you, Justin. No, 100%. and I and I also I do want to give them credit where it's due. I do like even like the little um like pack promo packages in between. Yeah, Cody Because I'm more of a casual fan. But, like, I still follow on social media, and I watch, you know, a few episodes of Raw here and there, mm-hmm. and, you know, I, I mean, you talk about it all the time, yeah. and I see, I got them, you know, you send me DMs and what have you. Um, but those packages help me, like, all right, cool, I'm up to speed. Mm-hmm. I know what's going on. I want to tune in. Like, every time I watch a show, like, the ending of this show made me be like, all right, what's going on on Raw with the bloodline? Mm-hmm. Which is what it should be doing. Um... But ultimately, the, the the triple threat match United States. Final thoughts? How did you feel? Or you just... uh, it was one of the better matches of the night. I think so too. Horrible it, ending. It had a good pace to it. Horrible ending with uh, Lashley really not even hitting the spear, and I'm just disappointed Seth lost his title. To be honest, because I really felt like how you said theories in phase one of his character, and me being a, a big character uh, person in wrestling. I feel like there is so much more to do with Theory. Um, developing his character, you know, then maybe get that match against Seth Rollins down the line, maybe at Rumble in two months, where his character's more uh, in development and maybe into the phase two or phase so you three. Didn't like, you didn't like the payoff? No. I, obviously, Lashley not hitting the spear the right way because um, it, it looked like it didn't even hit him. A- and then just Seth losing the title for yeah. maybe a month and a half of having it. And I'm a big Seth Rollins guy too, so it's just like, like damn, like what does Seth do? Like you, you would hope Seth Rollins has a good, you know, run in the Rumble now, because if not, you're like, what does he do at WrestleMania again? That's that would suck. That's what I could only imagine. Everybody's next uh, over the weeks is everybody building into Mm -hmm. Rumble. That that's gonna qualifying matches, yes. But even that, like, like, yeah, you got a shot to go up against Roman. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. They should have two Rumble matches just to get two different opponents from mm-hmm. Roman because he needs more than one. Um, it's Oh, man. But, Jess, I, I agree with you entirely. The botch did kind of ruin it for me, too. And botches kind of ruined another match. Um, mm-hmm. Ronda Rousey and Shotzi Blackheart, they had a horrible it was botch. The, it was the worst match of the night. I don't know if it was Ronda's fault or Shotzi because it did look like Ronda might have held onto the rope a little too long. Shotzi also had a spot where she jumped into the crowd. That was kind of cool. Um... But then yeah, she lost in the middle of the ring. Yeah. Arm bar. It was it was a, it was a, yeah it was a whatever match. The, the the thing I'm honestly interested in for Ronda is what do they do with Shayna? Maybe they do that at WrestleMania or now with Becky Lynch being back, do they pull the trigger on Becky Lynch going to SmackDown uh, in her in her feuding with Ronda Rousey because when Becky Lynch won the Royal Rumble, she was face and then Ronda was heel. And then they added Charlotte Flair into that match. Looking back on it now, I think that was a horrible decision. Um, but now you have a bigger stage in Hollywood. Obviously, Ronda's from L.A. Uh, Becky Lynch is a huge star over the past few years. Um, I would love to see Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania. If not, you could do Ronda versus Shayna for the SmackDown yeah, Women's title. if you want to see a good Ronda version of Build Up, just watch uh, Universe Mode. I mean, I've mm-hmm. had that for like three yeah. seasons straight, so watch some of these older seasons. But, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am I'm want Triple H to develop that uh, SmackDown Women's division because, I mean, in the War Games match for with Bianca and Rhea Ripley and Asuka and everybody, that division... Mm-hmm. You got people to go against yeah. uh, Bianca Belair, obviously. Yeah, she has Ronda Rousey, like, you don't have really anyone. Sasha and Naomi left. Charlotte's been out with injury. We actually Becky got just came we back. Want Sasha Chance during this match. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, it, it would be great for I, Sasha I would, back. I would love Sasha back at Rumble when the Rumble faces Ronda. Boom. That would be you great. Know. Yeah, it really would. I, would I would cool. love to see Ronda and Becky. I would love to see Ronda versus Shayna. Um, obviously, that's a Rumble either. No. Hmm. Obviously, that's a Triple H um, 
guy or, or woman, whatever you want to call it, Shayna Baszler. Uh, I know he's a big fan of Ronda too. It's oh, we're just not, like we're not getting Sasha. Could she's, she's could, she's could we even see players. Raquel Rodriguez develop into you know an up and coming star? Uh, maybe she gets a match against Ronda Rousey. Maybe not at WrestleMania, but you know the build to WrestleMania it, will be it, will be kind of cool. But he he needs to develop that SmackDown Women's Division. None uh, of them feel like you, title, none of them feel like title contenders. No, and like they that's, that's they threw point. Liv Morgan into that mix mm-hmm. and like. Maybe, I'm excited. Maybe, maybe expedited her trajectory a little yeah. bit because of it. Mm. But now I'm excited for her for build, people though. like Shotzi. Yeah. And yeah. Um, it, it was a horrible match. Uh, the, the, the thing I'll take away from it is who's next for Ronda, who could be at Royal Rumble going against Ronda Rousey, uh, or who could win the Rumble to possibly go against Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania. Um, you, you got options. You got Shayna, Becky, Charlotte, Sasha. Uh, yeah, you I do have options. Sasha's an option. I don't know if would you could jump there, but I would love it to be an option. Um, yeah, so that was our thoughts on that match. Uh, Jesse, I do want your honest to God thoughts on AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. Be real with me, because I feel like their first encounter was better. I th- this match and that, was, and that match was on was, short notice too, because I remember it was supposed to be the Demon it was versus to be something else. Was I think it was Bray. I don't. I don't remember. I exactly. think that was the thing. Where I feel Bray like they a few matches like Demon. that, like a few dream matches, but almost like impromptu. Um, I remember when Kurt Angle was a member of the Shield for one day. That was kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna be real with you, Jess. This this match was a little bit underwhelming for me. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm glad I, they I, went I, one I, on I, one. I, I watched it and I forgot a lot about it. I mean, I have. I, I have the I have the outcome as a note, but honestly, mm. that that's the only thing in my memory. Um, I remember Finn Balor, you know, going for the Styles Clash, but mm. besides that, it felt very forgettable. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. I'm glad uh, the uh, the club and Judgment Day yeah, they like were all the, yeah, yeah. they had not been, they went backstage and everything. I'm glad that they went one on one for what it was worth. AJ Styles at the forearm. It's his first pay per view win. Since Crown Jewel of 2019. I'm, I'm glad AJ got a win. That's crazy to me. Like, you haven't had a singles win since 2019. Glad it was against, you know, Finn Balor, a former two-time NXT champion, world champion, um, the whole nine yards. But, uh, wow. Like, that that was insane, like, stat to me I saw on Twitter. I don't know. I'm glad the match happened. But now that it happened, um, I don't know. I just have no feeling for it. Mm-hmm. So, I, I think we so definitely like, see... The Judgment Day and the club, you know, feud maybe till Rumble. That'll be the end point for uh, the Judgment Day and the club. Um, the thing is, what could be next for those guys after Royal Rumble and going into WrestleMania? Uh, I don't really know. I feel like Finn could have some options. AJ Styles could have some options. It's just where does Triple H go with it from, you know, come Royal Rumble. It's yeah. just up in the air. Uh, AJ Styles getting a win, though, is it, cool. Uh, good win for him. Finn Balor, he'll be fine. He's been getting a good push with the Judgment Day. Mm-hmm. And, I, uh, I think the, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're both fine. Um, the, nobody loses in this scenario. Judgment Day just had a great segment with Rhea Ripley and uh, mm-hmm. Dominic with the whole Rey Mysterio thing. I love that. Um, so... It's, I'm cool. Like, it happened, and I feel like it just happened, and whatever. Um, we can also, obviously, we'll, we'll finish it off with the first War Games match, and then I want to ask you a question. We can get out of here. Um, but the first War Games match, which was uh, Damage Control, Nikki Cross, and Rhea Ripley taking on Alexa Bliss, Asuka. I can't do this all Becky memory. Lynch, Mia Becky Mia. Lynch, uh, Bianca, and Mia Yim. There we go. Uh, Mia Yim was kind of in the match. I didn't really see her too often. Yeah, she had one spot where she uh, got... Suplexed in the, the the red ladder. Yeah, man, that ladder was. It's, those ladders are weird when they break. I, I don't. I don't. I, I wonder what the answer is. I'm sure I maybe can look it up on Google and get the answer. Why did that ladder split like wood? Is it wood? Like what type yeah. of? I know. Obviously, it's not a real. Uh, yes, ladder. obviously, we're, we're, we're not foil, dumb, but, but like, what is that exactly? Yeah, Why was it red? Yeah, uh, uh, I but tell. Jess, uh, this match was this match was a great way to kick it off. It was the introduction of the War Games match to the main roster. Um, we had who started off? Bianca and uh, Dakota. 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 Who they Dakota both have experience the, being the, in the, the yep. in the the War Games, obviously in NXT. Uh, I, I liked the the match. There was moments in the match where it felt like, oh damn, like 
she hasn't had experience in uh, the yeah, war games. Yeah, a few botches here too. Yeah. But I think uh, Bailey had e- a botch. E- 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 Sky, she botched. A, a, yeah. I don't even know what it was. She was like lifting off on top of the ropes. Completely yeah, two slipped. times in a row too. Like she slipped off. She the redeemed top herself because she ultimately did a backflip off the cage. Yeah, and we can it landed accept claim. That. Yeah. Yes. Um, there was another spot I don't remember right now, but I know there was like at there was least another three botches. Cross, cross match. jumped off the top. Um, she also handcuffed Alexa Bliss, and she was like, you know, talking. Oh yeah, to that her. that was the spot. And yeah, it they took had like counter. Yeah, it took a long time for that spot. Oh to my go. god, yeah, that it dragged. Yeah. It was like it felt like a minute, but it mm-hmm. was like up close and personal to their face, and I was yeah, the the camera angle wasn't the best. Yeah. Um, the fi- the finish to the match was, was good, good though. Good finish. Uh, Becky, Becky Becky went up top. Uh, Dakota and Neil were on the table. Uh, Bailey was fighting with Bianca. She hit the KOD on the uh, the oh. side of the cage there. And then Becky was up top, leg drop, pins uh, Dakota and EO. Uh, oh, no, I think she just pinned Dakota. Dakota yeah. um, and then obviously Team Bianca uh, picks up the victory there. Uh, it's just... They, what, they, they told a few stories. Yeah, right? what, what happens here now? Because uh, Becky Lynch, obviously the, this was her first match back since her SummerSlam loss to uh, Bianca Blair. Um, what happens with Bianca Blair? Does she stay on Raw? Does she go to SmackDown? Uh, I'm still. I don't know what happened. Jesse, as the casual viewer, I'm still very confused with the brand split. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who's on what. Yeah, I, it's and I, I don't it's feel weird like it too because they didn't have a draft this year. It's the first time they haven't had a draft. How in am I supposed years. to know who's on what brand? And part of Survivor Series to me was always like kind of brand supremacy. Mm-hmm. Um, at least when there was a brand split, and this there is a brand split, and I have no idea who's on what brand. And I feel like we might have even had. As like a casual viewer, I feel like maybe on, even on Team Bianca, we might have had woman that what she's the Raw champion. Mm-hmm. Do we have any SmackDown woman on her team? Um, I'm trying to think. Mia Yim is she SmackDown? No, is, she's is Raw. Becky, but we don't know yet. We I don't guess. know. She could be on either. Like I don't know. Like why? Like is it all Raw? Like in theory, I would imagine. Yeah. But you know, I mean that that's a question for a different day. I'm just confused with the brand split. As a casual viewer, mm-hmm. just I know point. Bliss and Oscar obviously on Monday Night Raw. Uh, Rhea is with Judgment Day. Bianca it sounds like everybody's on Raw. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's maybe there. That's why there was a red ladder. Yeah. Maybe could could be on now. Something. Now we're on to something. Yeah, yes. could could be onto something there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, other than the botches, uh, it, it was a cool match. Obviously, the men's War Games match was better. Of course, because there was obviously the, the storytelling was there, and it had a lot more going into. Yeah, it had a lot more Absolutely. going into it. The build was there, of course. I mean, damage but, control uh, doesn't look weak by any means. No, nobody looks weak in a war games match. No, which is a benefit. People can look weak during a Survivor mm-hmm. Series match. Um, nobody can look weak here. You got pinned after a lady jumped thirty feet high. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm exaggerating, but landed with a leg drop on a table. You yeah, it's a mm-hmm. you deserve to be pinned for three seconds. It's just obviously Dakota and EO they're being obviously them being the tag team champions. Uh, you said it during the match. It would be kind of cool if Bianca and Becky were a tag team. They had decent chemistry, mm-hmm. and I like them. And then you know me, we we do the universe match. That was the first thing I was thinking. Mm-hmm. I, was like, I got both of these women. Um, but yeah, uh, in general, the women's division is stacked. On and, Raw, for sure. Well, I, I don't know what's on Raw, what's on SmackDown. Um, but well, all those ladies. One of those ladies, <laughs> I would imagine, or somebody else that maybe be. just was off screen at the time, is going to win Royal Rumble, and that's yeah. the next one coming up. Any early predictions for what that might be? Yeah, I think it might be Rhea. Like if we don't see a I, feud, I, I, I really, I really, really like Rhea right now. If um, we don't see a don't feud know. between Bianca and Rhea before Rumble. I think there's a very high chance Rhea Ripley wins. Um, a surprise entrance, obviously. You could mention Sasha. Uh, Charlotte already won, so I'm good on that. Becky already won. I'm good on that. Um, maybe Bailey, but like we've seen Bailey Does and Bianca. Does she need a win to get a title shot? I feel like sometimes yeah. the Royal Rumble That's another thing. You should don't have be to like force it. for people that don't necessarily like I feel like Bailey can get a tap shot anytime. time she doesn't even mm-hmm. win it right yeah same thing, thing with Becky Charlotte and I mean arguably you know, so can South the Bates, but you know that that would be for the pot but yeah. even I don't know I don't really don't Rhea Ripley would have win would be cool mm-hmm. that would be cool yeah cause we saw her go, go against uh, Bianca that one year 
And she was the they were the final two, Bianca and Rhea Ripley. Oh, yeah, they yeah, could yeah, tell the story right. just like that. Oh crap! Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. Jesse's on to something. You can tell the story just That's like that. That's why I have you here, sir. That's why I have you here. But overall, that was War Games. That was the show. I do want to ask the question: Do you think next year's Survivor Series will be War Games themed? I hope so. Moving forward. I, I said this to you when I think Roman uh, and the Bloodline were, were coming out. I wonder how the main roster, you know, adapts and like re- reacts to Triple H. Like, yeah, let's let's do that again. I, that was fun. I feel like a lot of these superstars are NXT bred to begin with. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, that whole women's this, this, match. Yeah, they've been yeah. in War Games matches before. This is nothing really new to them. Mm-hmm. I truthfully think the fact that Triple H had, and I said it during the show, I feel like Triple H, a lot of this is just like, this is all he's worked for. You mm-hmm. know, this was his brainchild, and now he's able to have this on yeah. the main roster. Like, this is like Kevin War Games there, Sammy with Zane, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn and Buck Dakota Bruce. Kai and yeah. Io Sky and Becky Lynch and mm-hmm. Bailey, Bianca Belair. Like, these are all his, you know, people. So, I, I, I definitely think that... This can may I don't know if it'll be like taking over Survivor Series every time moving forward, but I think the concept blends perfectly. So no, I think it works. War games, it is the perfect blend. And for a long, long time, there was a stretch of time where people were thinking Survivor Series was very much so. It was a part of that big four, but they the said it was very part. much so the yeah. weakest part of that slate. That mm. you know, big four, big five, even you know, money in the bank might have took the crown mm. over. So well, that, this well, that definitely pretty much breathes gone, new life into the pay per view, into the show, into a new tradition, and I, I just for that alone, this is a thumbs up pay per view for me. Um, I'll give it a like a probably an eight point two. Yeah, I'm not gonna throw a scale. I'll just say if it thumbs up or a thumbs down. This was a thumbs up. That War Games match at the end sold it for me. The first mm-hmm. War Games match was fun enough. AJ and Finn, it was good wrestling, but ultimately forgettable. Ronda Shotzi, you could you could have used the bathroom. And the triple threat match was fun. It had a good pace. Mm-hmm. That's how I felt about this show. Um, and I'm, I'm ready for Rumble. And I hope we get to talk about that too, Jess. No, yeah. We'll, we'll definitely watch Rumble, obviously, two months from now. Uh, do a reaction. There's definitely going to be more than five matches at the Rumble for sure. Because that's the build toward WrestleMania. And I'll say it now. I really do think with Triple H at the helm, I think this might be one of the best WrestleManias we've got in a long time. I hope so too, Jess. And ultimately, the Royal Rumble match probably has a lot of potential in itself because he'll, he'll be able to tell so many stories. Mm-hmm. Um, before I get off, I do want to say I I maybe thought that this take I don't want to take over that this uh, Survivor Series would have been a little better. I'm not gonna lie to you. No, Overall, yeah, me too, I do me give too. it a thumbs up, but I. I when I think Triple H and he has control of this, it's the main roster, this is AJ versus Finn, I mean, even Ronda versus Shot C, that could, you know, be decent, the triple mm-hmm. threat. I, I, I do feel like this had opportunity to be better. I'm going to be real. No, I'll, yeah, I'll be honest. But. The, the, the main event really pulled it through, though. Yeah, ultimately, I'm, so. fi- I'm fine with what I got at the end. That keeps me over really, overall, pretty positive. Yeah. Um, so that is where my thoughts end. That is where my thoughts lie, Jess. I don't know if you got any final words or we're going to log out. No, yeah. Uh, other than the Survivor Series, War Games, uh, I thought it was a good pay per view, and I, I hope it's back at, on an annually, year, yearly basis. So. I, 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 do, I do too, Jesse, and I'm, I'm honestly sure we'll get our answers soon. But regardless, um, we'll see you next time. If you guys want to watch our universe mode, feel free to click that YouTube channel and go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, subscribe. This is what we do over here at All the Above ENT. Jess, you can hit your spiel over here, too. Yeah, ring the bells, guys. Get our new updated videos. And we'll see you on. We we usually say the other side of the universe, but I'll just say next time. Have a good day. Peace. Yeah. Yeah, I got the game all in my hand. Ooh, and yeah. Pop out with the drip and make a fan drool. You could risk it if you want. This ain't no fan duel. Yeah. I'm in a band's cool, yeah, stabbing for the breeze.